Good evening. Gun stores across the country are feeling the impact of the ammunition shortage. News Channel 15's Megan Royst checked in with businesses here to see how they are coping with empty shelves and a loss in sales. Heather, since the election in the Sandy Hook shooting, business owners say gun enthusiasts across the U.S. have bought up most of the retail ammunition that's available. Shelves in many of their stores that were once full are now barren. Sales lately at Sniper Company in Fort Wayne have been far from usual. It's not good for sales because we don't have product to sell right now. Deserted shelves were once places where customers could find boxes and boxes of ammunition. Not too long after the election and then after the uh, shootings at Sandy Hook, uh, ammunition sales and firearm sales just went through the roof and it's been flying out of the store ever since. The ammunition shortage is something impacting locally owned gun stores as well as big box stores like Gander Mountain. Although they aren't allowed to talk with us about sales, a Gander Mountain spokesperson said they have seen encouraging levels of business from folks buying ammunition. Sniper Company store manager Travis Roth says customers understand the ammo crisis and sometimes work together to find what they need. Most people are kind of uh, communicating with each other about where who's got what in stock so people go and go there and get it. Shelves here at Sniper Company have looked like this for months. Sales associates say they recently implemented a new mandate to help serve as many customers as possible. We never had that policy before but with uh, the situation as it is if we get a bunch of ammo and it stops one person from coming in and buying everything. For the time being, they'll have to make do with limited shipments from ammo manufacturers. The demand is just so high. Most of these companies are working overtime trying to get the get the product out and they just can't keep up with, with the sales. Roth says some people are hopeful more ammunition will be distributed back into the market this summer. Heather?